Hey everyone, it's Desiree and welcome. I hope you are having a great day and a great week. Today we are going to be working with two new collections uh, from Spellbinders. One was released in April and the other one has just been uh, released in May. This here is called the Glimmering Peonies from the Glimmering Flowers collection. Now, with that glimmer plate, it comes with, or sold separately, is a layered glimmering peonies stencil set. You can see that this is a five stencil set. And then from the sealed 3D botanical, fell in love with this wax seal. It's an oval seal. It's very etched onto the inside with a beautiful peony on the bottom and a butterfly on the top. So we will be working with that. I thought it was just perfect when it came to this glimmer plate. The foil that I'm going to be using, I have my Spellbinders Glimmer Machine heating up. The foil that I'm gonna use is called Aura. We're gonna set the plate in place, I already have my cardstock cut down to be four and three quarters by six and three quarters. We are going to make a five by seven card, and you'll see just how much real estate that this image um, has. Does not mean though that you cannot make it on a standard A2 size card. So whatever look you're going for, um, create that. The timer is done flashing, so that means my plate is ready. I'm going to run that through my Platinum 6 machine. I do run it back and forth. Usually three is the number um, that I do. And you can see with between the shim and the plate, I do keep a piece of 110 pound cardstock. And I don't have, um, I don't have too many issues with that um, when I do that. Now for this one, I did have, of course, a little bit of ghosting up in that upper left-hand corner. Now I just use a white eraser and that removes the mark. I don't use a sand eraser. I'm really not a fan of them, uh, but again, that's just personal preference. Um, I'm going to tape this down to my work surface and I'm going to create a hinge when it comes to the stencils and we are going to start adding our colors to this image. So for my peonies, I'm going for a pink to a yellow. So I'm going to get that peach color in between. For the greens, I'm going to go with a bright green and then also a bluish green for the two separate styles of leaves there. The color that I'm starting with here is, I believe, Sprout. Yeah, Sprout, and then I came in with Field. This color here is, believe it or not, called Peony. Um, and the inks that I'm using are from Simon Says. They're Positively inks. This is Zest that I'm adding to the top. And when you blend these two colors together, so I'm not worried about how far I'm going down onto the pink, or anything like that, you kind of get that peachy color in between. The next layer is continuing on with the petal, so you can choose other colors here. I'm going to continue to use the same colors, the peony and the zest. So for more for the buds, you know, adding just a little bit more of the pink, not so much of the yellow, um, and so forth but not worrying about how they're laying, how the petals are coming towards you or away from you or anything else like that. I'm just adding my colors to this. This is the third stencil. And again, I'm also being careful because when it comes to some of the stencils, not only do you have the flower petals, you do have the leaves that are coming in as well. But if I got a little bit of the pink on there, we're good. Absolutely good. Okay. 
if the area is smaller on the stencil, like the leaves, I am coming in with a smaller blending brush um, instead of my large ones. Now we're going to fill in the centers and the stems. Um, the stem, I'm coming in with Field, the darkest green. And then for the centers of these flowers, I chose to go with a brown. So I'm going to come in with Cappuccino, and then I'm going to come in with Mocha just along the bottom, just to add a little bit of shading. So in no time, yes, I have this video sped up, but in no time, because of stencils, you're able to add your color to your image. You don't have to use watercolors or alcohol markers um, or even, you know, colored pencils. Um, you can use the inks that we have. And remember, even if you don't have all the color of inks, you don't need them, just layer. So if you have a stencil that's creating a layered flower, you can use one color and just keep adding the color between each of the stencils. Wherever that stencil's opened, that color will continue to get darker and darker. So stencils are very cost effective um, and very versatile. So there is our image. We are going to put it on a mat, which is a dark pink to kind of match the pink that we've put onto um, our peonies. So I'm pulling out my uh, Platinum 6 again. We are going to die cut. So when um, Spellbinders released their wax seals, uh, they had many products that were available. And this was one of them. So I just absolutely love this die. So it makes it, it's a twine. It's a twisted twine. And the way that it works is you would cut two and then you put your um, circles together wherever you want that um, your, your wax seal to be. So you're going to layer that up. It could be on the bottom here. I'm actually choosing to kind of put it in between the two large peonies. I'm putting a little bit glue on the twine that's coming out of that circle just so that it adheres down and does not get caught. On the other side of this panel, I'm going to fold over these two pieces and I'm going to add some double-sided tape. That's how they're going to get adhered um, down onto the card. So I'm going to remove the release paper and we're just going to fold these over. And then they will be secured in the back. So instead of if you don't have twines or ribbons or anything like that, this is an awesome die. I mean, you can make it any color you want. You can make it look like a baker's twine as well. And that's just by taking a black Sharpie on a piece of cardstock, drawing lines, and then placing this die on that. And you'll get a, um, a baker's twine effect. So it's, it's just a really universal die. Absolutely love it. Okay, we're going to go back. We're releasing all of this double-sided tape release paper here, pulling that off. Um, kind of got carried away there, but because I have these pieces wrapping over, I just wanted to make sure that this was going to be well secured onto the panel. And then we will get this onto our 5x7 card base. And it will cover the entire front of that card. Okay, so I'm pulling in all my supplies um, from the Spellbinders kit, uh, the sealed kit. Now, the that pink and white tile is not part of their kit. So you can, and I'll let me know if you would like to see a more detailed video with what I'm about to discuss. 
um, when it comes to wax seals. So um, you can, so you can see I'm melting my wax seals. I've got two colors in there. I've got the, um, and here I'm just making notes of all of the, the colors that I'm using here. Um, so I've used the iridescent, I believe it's called opal, and then I have pistachio. They are two metallic colors when it comes to the wax seal. And I'm letting those just melt together, not just stirring them too much, just letting them do their thing. Now, when you pour a wax seal, you can pour it onto the silicone mat. Absolutely. When it comes to the, the, the press, the plate, they're, they've got some weight to it. No, they're not super heavy in our hands, but they continue to push down. So when you push down onto a silicone mat, they get thinner. When you pour them onto a tile such as this, they don't get as thin. And this is a very detailed wax seal. I mean, it is, she is really etched. So there's some other techniques that I want to show with this. And what's happening, though, is as soon as the wax is hitting that tile, because tiles usually stay cool, it's starting to cool down already. So the weight of that plate is not going to push all the way down to the bottom. When you put down a wax seal, you should just lightly place it on and let it do its thing. You don't need to press it down. Um, it's going to do its magic. So you can get two different looks, whether you pour and press down onto a silicone mat or onto a tile. So I always have a tile and or the silicone mat, depending upon what I'm looking for. So I absolutely fell in love. I used one of the wax seal stickers along with a little bit of glue to adhere that. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's project featuring two collections, the Glimmering Flowers and the Sealed 3D Botanical. Everything that I used will be linked down below, and if you have any questions, make sure you reach out, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and make sure you ring the bell for the notification for the next video when it is available for you to watch. Thank you so much for stopping by. Whether you are a subscriber here or whether you just took a moment because you were curious about what you saw, I appreciate each and every one of you and truly grateful that you are here. Enjoy the art that you create. That's what it is. It is art. Don't get frustrated. Don't have stress. Walk away and come back with fresh eyes and enjoy. But most of all, always remember, be creative, guys, every day in everything that you do. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Till then, take care.